Hey beautiful people, welcome to my channel here and some more Draw Too Much Sketch Lessons. Now we've talked a lot about the importance of gums and getting them in your drawings, but I need to, I need to give you a word of caution in this video. This video is going to be all about making sure how you get those gums and those teeth lined up correctly. We're going to make a bit of a mess of a mouth to show you how this is going to work and why this is key, but it's coming up here. Sit tight. Let's go ahead and set our timer for five minutes. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. <laughs> set a timer for five minutes. Okay. Timer is set for five minutes. Your phone might have freaked out too. That's always fun when I know I've uh, messed up your phones as well. Leave a comment down below if your phone went crazy and you have an iPhone. Okay, here we go. Let's talk a little bit about the importance of getting your teeth and your gums matched up. Um, when I first started drawing caricatures, uh, I just thought, well, I can just quickly knock in shapes and I'm, I'm going to be good, uh, which is completely incorrect. Uh, and I'm going to show you why that is. Uh, when you are a caricaturist and you're doing your first gig on the floor in public, you're not doing something in your studio, you're just trying to knock stuff out as quickly as possible because it comes down to how many caricatures you sell in a day on how much money you make. You start finding corners that you can bend and things that you can do to twist the rules. And there's nothing wrong with that. That is a good thing to know in caricature, but there are times when you make the wrong move and the wrong move doesn't end well. Let me explain what I'm saying. So we got the top teeth here, and you can see it kind of has some decent form, and the bottom teeth have erased most of that form. And we're going to go ahead and try and quickly show you some of the mistakes that a caricaturist can make because they're in a rush. If I'm a caricaturist and I'm sitting down and I see a person that got some nice gums and a good smile, I immediately start, okay, one, two, three, four, one, two, you know, and I just, I just kind of quickly flush these in here just like this. And then maybe I get the idea that, oh, you know what, their, their front teeth are kind of, uh, okay, here we go. Uh, let's, let's knock this in here just like this. Okay. Uh, and the bottom teeth here, we'll, we'll just, uh, like that, uh, just, just a couple lines ought to work just fine. Okay. Uh, right now their teeth look broken, <laughs> okay? And here's why. We have to learn what the shapes are doing to each other, how the tooth is affecting the gum, how the uh, tooth line is affecting the, the, the shape of the smile. We can't get away with this form. This isn't going to work unless you want it to look like Yzma from, uh, from whatever that movie is about that llama. You know what I'm talking about. So anyway, it's definitely a thing where you want to focus in on getting the details right. You can't just draw a whole bunch of V's and a whole bunch of lines and expect that that's going to happen. If you're a caricaturist and you're trying to get stuff done quickly, you're 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 just you're you're literally kind of throwing things in here. You're trying to get these lines because you got ten people waiting in line behind and you're just waiting for something to get done so you can move on to the next person because you have a time limit to get everything done within five hours. That's how it was when I worked uh, at some theme parks. So here's what you do instead. Here's where it comes down. For every V that you create, focusing on understanding that there are more teeth on the bottom of your grin than there are on the top. First off, focus on placing those in the proper area, okay? Once you got them placed, then you need to understand how this affects your lines. I'm gonna draw teeth now, I've told you guys, do not put much black in a smile. The more black that you introduce into a smile, the more ugly it becomes. Okay, keep that in mind. But I'm going to show you how this needs to look. Here's your first tooth right here. The second tooth is going to come off of here just like this, all right? These Vs are areas where your teeth need to connect, all right? Just like this. All right, just like that. And please watch my other videos on drawing teeth because I'm telling you, this is going to look really nasty in comparison to all the other smiles we've been drawing. And that's because we're inducing a lot of black. We're introducing a lot of shape and form into the teeth that would not be there in real life. Because teeth are white, you would not be using black, an outline color, to mimic where the teeth are separating. Uh, that's used an awful lot in cartoons, and it is the ugliest thing to me ever that they use black lines to show each individual tooth. I think that is the ugliest thing that you can do in a drawing. This is not what you want at all. If I, if I, but you can see with this shape, you can see how the teeth are built. You're building teeth by showing where the gums are. That's the important thing to remember. Now check this out. Let me grab my eraser. I'm just gonna go ahead and just do a couple very gentle, low brush density passes on these teeth. And the lighter that I make them, the better the smile begins to look. 
And the reason is, I've said it before and I'll say it a million times more, it's because we're removing that black and it makes the smile look better. Okay, there's very few times in caricature that you're going to need to fully detail each individual tooth. Uh, there are ways where you're going to have to focus on getting that smile right, but it's not by drawing each individual tooth. What you're going to be doing, for the most part, there might be a very, very rare occasion, but you will, you will draw a shape like this and a shape like this and like this, and maybe one of them might be a bit more edgy, a bit more sharp, you know, and, and you'll do stuff like this. But you will rarely, if ever, connect teeth together. No, nope, and our time is up. The only place where we're going to connect teeth together is in those detail moments, like check in my video on drawing uh, things like um, the uh, rabbit teeth or or uh, uh, buck teeth. Those are those are the areas where you're going to focus on drawing individual teeth. But when you do those, you do those in a more cartoony sense. You're focusing on creating form in a normal smile like this. The smile up above that you're seeing instead of the smile down below is probably the route that you're going to want to go. There's nothing here. I call this my bar teeth because there's literally nothing here. It's like a bar of pure ivory just going across the mouth and you got gums. And it will create some of the be most beautiful smiles you've ever done. Because remember, your focus is not just on the smile in this caricature. You're working on a whole face. You're working on ears. You're working on a whole body. You got a lot going to get this done. All right, you get my drift? I think you do. Hit the like button, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you enjoy this, consider becoming a Patreon. Patreon supporters get my videos early, several days early, as well as discounts if you want to buy a character from me in the future. Okay? Keep that in mind. It's a very important thing, especially if you want to save some money. If you need a logo for your YouTube channel, for whatever you're doing, it's a great way to save some extra cash. And then finally, on top of that, guys, hit the bell button so you get notifications when we put out new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Tuesday and Friday. I, uh, it's always, I got two channels, and they keep me busy. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for checking out my channel and, of course, my Draw Too Much sketch lessons. We'll see you next time.